Hello and welcome to my channel Pick Up Gems. In today's video, I am going to share my stylish ruched sleeves top I made over this weekend and I am wearing. How I made this step by step, I will guide you and it looks very stylish and I was wearing at work today. This is really beautiful sunflower and Delia's farm I am in. I stopped in my way back home and I thought I will share and on another side there are lots of Dahlia's flowers I will take you there as well so I will show you around this is absolutely gorgeous place so I thought I will share with you and I will share my uh, top how I made it uh, with you as well it's really um, nice and loose fitting top I made and the sleeves I make initially dormal sleeves and then I added string in it you can make them smaller and longer so they are lovely stylish ruched sleeve and top and you can see the beauty in this form and thank you so much for watching sharing liking and subscribing my channel let's dive into our video so I took one and a half meter of fabric so fabric you can choose of your choice I am using this uh, viscous jersey mix and length I am taking 29 inches and I'm simply folding this fabric so basically there are four four pieces all together after folding so these are two pieces and I have folded so they become four so I have this is 25 inches wide and 29 inches long fabric so all I am going to do I'm gonna take my measurement like uh, how wide I want my top to be so this is a loose fitting top I am making so I will be simply um, taking a measure measuring tape and measure where uh, my widest area hip area you you can measure so for example is a 40 so divided by 4 because there are 4 pieces and then add 1 or 2 inches extra like how wide you want your top to be and then mark it um, according to the loose fitting and that's what I'm doing I divide my total hip measurement by 4 and I added 2 inches extra because I want a loose fitting so I marking here and then I'm using my uh, I'm going to use my French curve ruler to give a slight curve so from the shoulder I'm coming down 15 inches so from the area from the 15 inches I will start making a curve so the bust area below the bust area it will be a curve so you can use your freehand drawing as well it's absolutely fine so because this is your top you are designing it so you can design anywhere you like the way exactly you like and this is how it looks like at the moment if you want a less curve you can make a curve tighter closer to your, uh, your sleeves is absolutely fine and we are uh, we're gonna keep enough fabric on the top because I am making a ruched sleeve and I have to add the strings on the top and sleeve I am going to make diagonal because they are shoulders shoulders are not straight so one inch is depth I made a diagonal cut and I made a neckline small neckline and I um, like a one one inches gap I gave and now I started sewing is a one inches you can draw I am using pen so you can see how much I'm drawing you can use your fabric chalk to mark on your fabric so I have uh, make this line and I'm making a neckline deeper because one inches we use in a stitching so I'm making this neckline deeper I'm using my overlocker to overlock the raw edges which are left on the side because uh, on the shoulder side so no threads are coming out if you don't have an overlocker you, you can use zigzag stitch so 
this is how these two sides look like and now I am stitching these two sides on the opposite way so we can make a space for our strings to pass now you can see uh, there is a space and I am making uh, these strings four strings to pass through and I'm using this loop turner I will add the link below if you want to buy these loop turners they are really handy tool for making these type of little strings and now I am passing these strings and one side I will hem and other side will be on the shoulders and I will fix them using my sewing machine and you can pull this string but we will do this at the end this is how it looks like and I'm going to add uh, cute loops at the end so in this way they will look more stylish as well and they will not uh, go inside as well so uh, simply I am making small squares you can take any measurement I am taking two inches small squares and I am putting like this and I will be stitching them and they will be little loops and I'm using my sewing machine to stitch one side and I will turn them inside out and these uh, loop turners I will add the link if you want to buy you can buy from Amazon and all things I'm using and I will add the links this is how our loops looks like and this one again another one and our sleeves are ready and I'm going to make our my front neckline deeper so you can at this sta stage you can just keep up you make a simple neckline just round it or you can make any style whatever you like so I am uh, I decided to add some ruffles so I'm going to add box pleated ruffles here I'm making this neckline deeper so you can make this neckline deep according to your choice and I just I think I gone deeper six inches and I'm making a long strip um, about four inches wide and I'm going to cut this one And this strip I am going to attach around my neckline now after cutting long strip one side I have hem and now another side I'm going to attach with my neckline so before attaching mark the center so we know where are we, we are going to start we are going to start from the back side of the neckline and I am marking one inches wide mark all around the neck one inches gap so this is a gap where I am going to make a box pleat simply um, play, make a pleat over there because in this way it is just like a simple guidance where you're going to make a pleat and they will be all in one size that's what I am doing now start making pleats you can use your pins to make up pleats before you take it under sewing machine or you can um, um, make up pleats as you take your fabric or neckline under the sewing machine this is totally up to you if you fix it before that will be easy just take it under the sewing machine and stitch it or you can use your needle and thread to fix them as well so this is how like on every inch where we play, make a mark simply make a plate about one centimeter pull it up and make a plate and this is how I am going to do I am going to make plate along the way I take this under the sewing machine and after on each mark I am making a plate and now when we come at the end of the neckline cut extra fabric 
and join both pieces together and then make a final plate and our neckline is ready this is a final plate i'm going to make and make uh, to make sure that the folded part or stitched part make a pleat there so it is not showing outside that's why i said the start from the back so this last pleat will come at the end i have overlocked and now i'm simply turn it outside so here we go so this um, these ruffles are coming outside on the front side of our dress so this is how it looks like i'm going to iron them all these pleats and they looks really pretty i'm going to iron them it is a time to sewing all around our top this is a final step but you can um, uh, after giving a final stitch you can put it on try it on and if it's um, uh, loose enough so you can make it tighter so i am going to stitch all around and then you can sleeves you can pull sleeves as much as you like pull these strings and make these lovely uh, pleats you can see it look really really stylish now pull this apart as much you can make a tie knot at the end and your sleeves are ready and now try it on now i wear this top i made and i find it little loose is more loose than my liking so what i'm going to do i am going to um cut little bit more or you can cut it little bit or make it more tighter as you like so i am going to add like a one inch i'm going to cut it off and then i'm going to do hemming or possibly i'm going to give a nice shape um at the base so that's what i'm going to do so try it on and uh, see how it looks like and just uh, uh, fix it according to your style now base of my uh, dress i am going to give a curve so it's not a flat base so i'm going to give a nice shape i'm using my french curve ruler and i'm going to give a shape and then i will start hemming and our top is ready So this is how my top looks like is the final finish and this lovely ruched sleeves top so hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching sharing liking and subscribing my channel and try it at home and share with my facebook group i do teaching as well if you live locally in uk then you can contact if you want to learn sewing 101 and thank you again and have a wonderful day bye